good morning everybody we're out in the garden and I want to show you what uh, I've been working on uh, started this last night I came out and checked uh, the uh, progress and uh, well let's get right to it here showing you what I did yesterday is this pile of uh, flax and I've got several if you look down in here I've got several bundles all bound and stacked up for drying and uh, this is this is what it looks like when you want to uh, start to get it pulled the uh, stalks have turned yellow and uh, I waited until I seen a few of the uh, seed pods starting to go listen I don't know if you can hear that but you can hear the seeds rattling around the majority of them are still green but a, a few have started to turn and uh, and then I've only done maybe I don't know 30 feet or so and I've got that much and let's look around the other side and see how many we have to go there's probably probably close to 60 to 90 more feet to to do down here so let me show you what I uh, or how we're doing this I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit all right, I think that ought to do it. Just grab it and uh, bundle it up in your hand <clears throat> until you can't hold anymore. And the grass is growing here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I'm just reaching just above the grass so I don't get a ton of grass and weeds. Just trying to go for the flax. Okay, and then once you get a bundle as much as you can hold, Get a small bunch of flax and tie it in a overhand knot with a loop. And then that's it. You got a bundle, stackable, and uh, it'll dry. Now, it just as you're going down the line, just throw that down. You'll come back up. You can't come back and pick all them up and stack them up. <clears throat> This end of the garden, the soil wasn't as good, good as it is on the other end, so you'll notice they're a lot smaller. See, some are shorter and some are taller, but uh, they all have seeds, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I don't know if I said before in previous videos, but this was uh, flax was primary textile crop before before uh, uh, cotton. So if you're going for the textile end of it, uh, obviously the skinny uh, stalks aren't going to be ideal. You want to have something that's nice and thick that's going to have a lot of fibers in it. But no matter what, throughout this entire section or uh, crop that I have, um, we're going to have enough for, uh, for both. I'm excited to see how many pounds of seed we get out of this. You recall I started with uh, there's another bundle uh, I started with uh, three pounds of seed and I think I'm going to get well over three pounds of seed back because one seed created I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that there's probably um, well, let's see how many seeds are in one little pod let's see if I can count them out there's two three four five six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if each pod contains six seeds, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's 60 seeds. Well, that's, I should do pretty good. I'll figure out the math on the calculator. Should have quite a few, uh, quite a few pounds of seeds come out of that. 
anyway that's it I just wanted to show you how I'm doing the flax and uh, when uh, when we're all done collecting it <clears throat> we are going to uh, stack it all up just like this and I'll come back and show you everything that I've got uh, when I'm done harvesting it here and getting it stacked up and then we'll do uh, we'll do a couple other videos on 